Hello everybody and welcome back to another Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak video. Today I have for you a few more mods I found over on the Nexus, so let's jump right into things. For the first mod of the day, I have the Boomer Music mod, and I am so happy that I downloaded this mod and finally got it to work. This mod changes 90% of the music in the game to songs from 1, 2, 3, 4, and Frontier Generation themes. It will change the Kimura Song of Purification to the Monster Hunter 2 playlist, the Brave Hunters to Monster Hunter Frontier playlist, the Best Buddies to Monster Hunter Generations playlist, the Secrets of Kimura Monster Hunter Freedom Unite Poke Village, Meowcenaries to Monster Hunter 4 playlist, Thinking of Strange Lands to the Monster Hunter 3 playlist, Clouded Skies Approaching Twilight to Monster Hunter 1 Awakening, and finally Beyond the Endless Deep Blue to the Iceborne Celiana theme. And this mod is just wonderful for anyone who has played honestly any of the games before Rise has come out. And along with changing some of those songs, it also changes some of the track lists for different locations such as Ruins, Island, Forest, Plains, and Cavern. Also changing some of the monster songs to their older versions. On top of changing all of that, they also brought back the old item collecting sound as well as the Monster Hunter Freedom Unite kitchen theme, which I am a huge fan of. For my favorite things about this mod will probably be the Monster Hunter Freedom Unite Poke Village, the Monster Hunter Tri playlist, and the item collection as well as the Monster Hunter Freedom Unite kitchen theme. And I can't thank the creator and uploader enough, EX Oops. This is just probably one of the best mods that I've downloaded. So if you guys are a fan of any of the games before Sunbreak, I would recommend downloading this mod right now. Go check it out. Up next, we have the Pickle Rick Greatsword. And I know all the Rick and Morty fans will be happy to see this mod included. And it replaces the Kimura Cleaver Tree by default. And I wanted to thank the creator and uploader Philoso Pickle for uploading and creating this mod. By the footage that I'll probably have on screen, you can tell that I am absolute garbage at Greatsword, but honestly just messing around with it for a few minutes really has me interested and I'm honestly considering starting to use Greatsword after downloading this mod. And I would recommend downloading the Layer Any Weapon mod to use with this because it will just help you, you know, you don't have to use the Kimura Cleaver if you don't want to. You can basically use any great sword and just layer this over it. So that's just my recommendation. And this Pickle Rick model just looks awesome. I mean, it looks like a pickle. I, I would know because I eat pickles almost every day. It's shiny and it has the Pickle Rick face on it. So if you're a great sword user, Go download this mod, it, it's worth it. For the next mod, we have the Rise Tweaks, and this was uploaded by Mistress Ashaya, and I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. The mod description states, unlocks the frame rate cap in cutscenes, can also set your image quality higher than 150%, allows cutscenes to be viewed without the 30 FPS cap, automatically uses your in-game frame rate cap settings, forces the game to use a custom image quality scale instead of the preset in-game options. And I feel like it is most noticeable during the meal cutscene. At first I'll have the regular cutscene playing and then I'll switch to the uncapped version and honestly it's a huge difference and if you like watching any of the cutscenes or you're playing through the game i would definitely recommend downloading this mod because it'll make the cutscenes look a hundred times better also if you want to role play like you're on the psp you can turn your image quality down so it'll be like the good old days and in all honesty this is a super useful tool especially for content creators because you can get those cutscenes recorded with a beautiful frame rate and it'll just make everything look a lot better so thank you so much and for the final mod of the day we have the nearest camp revive and this was uploaded by archwizard1204 
The mod description states, fainting like a boss, revive at the nearest camp like a boss, rise slash sunbreak team are too lazy to implement this kind of user friendly stuff. Guess I had to do it myself. And you are so right, my sir. Long gone are the days of trekking across the treacherous wastelands of these Monster and Arise maps just to die again and have to do it all over. So if you're just a casual and you cart at least two to three times a quest, this is the mod for you because you won't have to run across the map every time you cart and it'll just make life so much easier. So let me know what you guys think about these mods in the comments down below. Which one was your favorite and would you download these for yourself? In all honesty, the Boomer Music mod is probably one of the best mods that I've downloaded so far. It just brings so much nostalgia from the old titles, especially if you played anywhere from the first game, even up to Monster Hunter World. Even if you haven't played any of the old games, this mod is worth it just to download to hear all the old music because I think that Monster Hunter has some of the best music in all of gaming. As always, have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you all in the Gathering Hall. Peace out.